Well, we feel we have a very balanced squad this year. Uh, with our, we have seven seniors. Two of them are newcomers, uh, both from the football team, Josh Taylor and Brennan Bish. Um, but our, but our captains and the other two seniors uh, have have been great in the off season, uh, holding guys accountable, just knowing what it takes. Uh, I think last year put a pretty big chip on their shoulder, and has really driven them uh, to be ready with the, at the start of practice this year. Um, so we're, we're obviously looking. I mean, Tyler Seelman, Eric Adams, Julian Reinhart, Nigel Herbert, and, and Clark Bruckle have all done a great job, and, and we anticipate them all helping us. Um, we've brought in addition to the two uh, two upperclassmen uh, newcomers. We brought in three uh, first years: uh, Sam Dagan, Liam Ebert, and Derek Schmidt. Uh, so all all have some local ties here. Obviously, Derek's brother's already on the team, and then uh, with the Hornell Wellsville connection. Um, it, it's, it's pretty neat. It's generated a lot of, a lot of local interest and, and they're doing a really good job. I mean, they're, they're ahead of where most freshmen are at this point. Um, they're competing every day and uh, they're fitting in with our culture and within the team really well so far. Um, obviously, uh, another year comes more experience. So, guys that are freshmen, that guys with a fr that were freshmen last year, sophomores this year, have uh, had that year under their belt that learning curve of uh, being a freshman and being acclimated to, uh, to the college game, learning what it's about to come to practice every day, prepared and get better. And uh, now you can really see the strides that they've taken. Guys like Sage, Dom, Scotty, and, and Pat, um, they've taken tremendous strides. And uh, it's really showing in our practices right now because they're, they're some of the guys that are winning drills and, and they're uh, more vocal and that doesn't mean that uh, our seniors aren't, aren't our captains, because obviously guys like Nigel, uh, Eric, Tyler, uh, Clark even, are also still just as vocal um, in practice. And it's, it's been competitive. That's the, that's the main difference that I see from last year to this year is the, the competitive level and every single practice and every single drill is is up because guys are fighting for playing time and, and everyone's really hungry to uh, improve on the season that improve on uh, the season last year that we have because we know we didn't do as uh, as well as we wanted to and complete all of our goals. Obviously, every year I've been here, the number one goal we've had is to make the NCAA tournament, win our conference, and get the automatic bid. We haven't done that yet. We talk about it. Uh, and this year, I think we're starting to do things to get closer to that goal. Uh, it's just the daily preparation, uh, competitiveness in practice. We've got a lot of guys coming back with a lot of experience. Uh, it's competitive minutes. We didn't lose a lot of minutes from last year. So there's guys that want to continue to uh, progress as players. And they've made those progressions, and they want to get those, that playing time. So there's just, there's a lot of people vying for the 200 minutes possible each game. And we need, uh, you know, from man one to man 17, we need everyone to be coming in every day and trying to make this team better every day. And, and that'll push us to our goals of uh, winning the E8 this year. Yeah, we, uh, we got a good non-conference schedule uh, lined up for us. Probably the best one we've had since I've been here. Um, we start off at Wells, and then we have the big uh, U of R tournament, which will be a good early test for us, um, kind of gauge us where we are. Um, as a team, we're really looking to win out our non-conference. It'll help with uh, seeding, you know, possibly down the road for the NCAA tournament. Um, and we also have the trip out to the West Coast, which will be, it'll be a fun time, but it's also a business trip, and we gotta take care of the two games that we have. And the biggest part is just learning as a team, coming together, right in time for the E8 uh, schedule, which is the most important part, and for us to be able to win out our conference. Yeah, I mean, we, we ramped up our non-league schedule uh, on purpose to really test ourselves to be ready for the, for the grind of the Empire 8. And our guys, I think, saw that and came in ready to work right away. Uh, not being able to work with them for you know six or seven months during the off season, it, a lot of it falls on, on the players. And they've done a terrific job of Holding each other accountable, pushing, pushing each, uh, themselves, uh, pushing each other, and coming in in shape. Where every day in practice, we, we don't have to worry about conditioning. We can focus on basketball, and practices have been very competitive so far, which, which is all you can ask for, just to try to get better every day, and you know, end up where we want to at the end of the year.